Blessings, Lafayette family and Facebook friends. My daily message for Tuesday, September 15th. And I'll remind you that daily messages, Sunday worship, sacred music, and other content are available at FountainChurchTallahassee.org. Also, come worship with us on Sunday mornings at 10 o'clock a.m. Right on the front lawn of the church, we have drive-up worship, and it's wonderful. We'd love to have you come join us. Our scripture today is from Psalm 107, verse 1. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. This is the word of the Lord. When folks enter my office and see this ring on the shelf, they always ask, what is that and what is it made out of? Is it a snakeskin? No. This is a ring woven from straw and packed with straw so that it's firm and strong, but it has a little bit of give. But that doesn't answer the question, does it? What this is, this is a ring that is worn on the head of African women who are walking to a water source with a jug to fill. And when they fill it, they place the ring on their head and then the jug on the ring. And in many cases, they can actually walk without raising their arms. They balance the jug on this ring and it also protects their heads. And of course, their necks have to become very strong in order to support the weight of a heavy container of water. The reason I share this with you today is to remind us how very different our lives are from most lives around the world. We very often are concerned about our quality of life and there are many challenges today that bring us great consternation. But I want to be joyful today. I want to celebrate today the blessings that the Lord has given us. For a woman in Africa, this ring is actually a blessing because it means they can more easily carry their burdens. But of course, we are unfamiliar with such tasks as we have automobiles and we have now even delivery options so that almost anything that we would need to do that would involve physical labor now has a response. Very few people mow their lawns anymore. They have lawn services. Did you know that many families today, instead of having washers and dryers, which saves us from the old ringers and clothes lines, now people bring their clothes to wash and fold laundromats. We receive meals prepackaged and ready to serve. Our lives are filled with blessings that we don't even notice or recognize. And yet our lives are so different from the burdens that two-thirds of the world share on a daily basis. So today, let's be joyful. Let's be thankful. Let's be grateful that the only time you have to look at one of these rings is on the shelf in my office. And let's give God the glory, but also let's remember to share the blessings we have so that the burdens of many in our country and around the world can be lessened. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for your blessings and the unimaginable riches that we share. We pray that we would be inspired to be generous, to have open hearts for those who have less, and also, Lord, may we 
be an influence on those who do not recognize the many wonderful blessings that abound in our lives. These things we pray in Jesus' precious and holy name. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.